Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a highly requested recipe on how to make healthy granola at home which can be enjoyed both by kids and adults. Granola is a breakfast food or a snack consisting of oats, nuts, seeds etc. and they are toasted to golden brown which make them very crispy and crunchy. Granola is a great snack to be carried to work or if you're traveling or if you're living in a hostel. Now first let me show you how to make granola granola on the tower on the stove top though you can also make this in the oven and then later in the video i'll also show you how you can use granola in your daily diet i will also share some of the benefits of the ingredients i'm using while making the granola this granola is my kids favorite especially my sons who love to snack on it while studying so without much ado let's get started first i'm going to roughly chop some nuts i'm roughly chopping one fourth cup of cashew nuts one fourth cup of peanuts and one fourth cup of almonds you can also use other nuts like macadamia hazelnuts or pistachios try to use locally available nuts as much as possible i have one fourth of a dried coconut which is known as copra in malayalam simply slice the dry coconut as thinly as you can you can also use coconut chips or coconut flakes and now for the main ingredient which is oats you need to use rolled oats and not the instant oats to make this granola I'm using a large iron pan to make this on the stove top. I have already heated my pan and once the pan is heated reduce the flame to medium low. Remember I am using a cast iron pan which retains more heat than a nonstick or aluminum pan. Now add in 1 tablespoon virgin coconut oil. I like to use virgin coconut oil because it's full of nutrients and also gives a nice light flavor to the granola. You can use any healthy oil but please avoid olive oil as it has a strong flavor. Once the oil is lightly heated, add in 1 cup of rolled oats. Whole oats are full of fiber, high in protein and contains vitamins and minerals like folate, iron and magnesium. So be sure you are using whole rolled oats and not instant or quick cooking oats. 1 cup of poha or aval. Note that I am using the thick variety of poha which is made from Kerala's red rice. But you can use any variety of poha available in the place you live in. Poha is rich in iron and having poha regularly can prevent iron deficiency or anemia. Poha is low in gluten and easily digested. And then add in the chopped nuts and sliced coconut. Stir it well so that it is nicely mixed and on medium to low flame start toasting the oats, poha and the nuts. This is one of the easiest and healthiest granola recipe so you don't have to buy a ready-made granola as it may be loaded with artificial flavors refined oil or refined sugar now while these are getting toasted let's chop some dry fruits i have about 10 to 12 dates which i have already deseeded and i'm roughly chopping them adding dates is entirely optional but i like to use as it gives some sweetness and an instant energy in between keep an eye on the oats mix so that it does not get burned so make sure you stir it on and off i have some dried kiwis which i had sun dried myself last year i got them from kodai canal and since they were plenty i simply sliced and sun dried them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to roughly chop them adding kiwi is optional i'm using this because i just happen to have some dried kiwis now the other dry fruits i'm using are 1/4 cup of dried unsweetened cherries 1/4 cup of black grapes now the oats and poha has started to turn light brown at this stage i'm adding in half teaspoon cinnamon powder and mixing it very well for an added flavor i'm drizzling in half teaspoon of vanilla essence this will give a nice flavor and kids will really like it as it will also give a stoveboard flavor to the granola now to sweeten this i'm using 3 tablespoon coconut sugar sweetening the granola is entirely optional but if you are making for kids it's best to add some sweetener and do not use refined sugar if you don't have coconut sugar you can use grated jaggery or grated palm sugar or even maple syrup but do not use honey the heat will make the coconut sugar melt and it will help to distribute sweetness evenly so make sure you mix it really well 
Once everything is mixed and the granola is toasted, I am switching off the flame and transferring the granola to another plate to allow it to cool down. I forgot to toast some melon seeds, so I am again heating a small pan with 1 teaspoon virgin coconut oil and adding in 1 fourth cup of melon seeds. I took the seeds from musk melon. All you have to do is simply wash the seeds and sun dry them. Did you know that musk melon seeds are a good source of plant based protein? Musk melon seeds are extremely rich in antioxidants vitamin A, C, E and these vitamins helps to prevent macular degeneration in the eyes and they are also very good for your vision. The antioxidants in the seeds keeps your cholesterol level steady and also decreases the risk of cancer. Melon seeds are a great source of minerals like magnesium, phosphorus and potassium. They helps to improve bone density and regulate your blood pressure. So the next time you get some musk melon, make sure you sun dry the seeds and store in an airtight container. Okay, once the seed starts to pop, switch off the flame and transfer it over to the granola. Once the granola has cooled down completely, I like to transfer it to a bowl. And I hope you can hear the toasted crunchy sound. Add in the chopped dry fruits into the granola and mix well with your hands and my healthy granola is ready. Transfer it to an airtight container and it will keep good for months. Keep a jar of granola in your office or in your hostel and night shift workers can snack on this at night while they are working. Now how to use granola? One way of using it is adding it as a topping over a fruit or yogurt or curd. Since granola is very crunchy, they are great as toppings. A bowl of curd topped with granola is a great after meal snack or you can sprinkle granola over smoothies. Now the recommended serving is half to one third cup of granola per day. So do not overindulge. All the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. So please do check it out. Make this healthy granola so that your kids can sprinkle them over lassi, milkshakes or even plain milk and enjoy summer with homemade healthy snacks. So do try this recipe and let me know how this turned out. If you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button so that you can stay updated when I post new videos. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye bye.